What's up? My name is Teknoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another quick video. In this video, I'll be running through some simple fixes that you can use if your controller isn't working with Forza Horizon 5. Whether it's working and then disconnecting or just not working at all, this video should have the solution that you're working for, assuming it is compatible. If it's not compatible with the game, what you can try using is something like X360CE, I think it's called, which can emulate any input as an Xbox controller or something like a DS4 Windows, which I'll have a solution for later if you do have that software and your PlayStation controller isn't working properly. Anyways, so the absolute simplest fixes if you haven't already is A, restart the controller and B, restart the game, C, restart your PC. If none of these three simple fixes work for you, what else can we try? Well, first of all, fire up the game. Then when you're in game, head into the options, then advanced controls and you're looking for vibration. Turn this off. It could also be titled something like forced feedback. All you need to do is turn it off maybe relaunch your game and see if things are working properly. Otherwise, if you're still having issues, if you're a user of Logitech G-Hub, Razer software, etc., according to the community, closing those bits of software is something that can solve issues, especially with Logitech G-Hub. Now, if you own the game on Steam, there's a couple of fixes that we can try. Inside of Steam, locate and right-click on Forza Horizon 5, then click Properties. Inside of here, head across to the Controller tab and simply set this to Disable Steam Input. The game should then natively try and use the controller plugged into your computer after you restart the game, of course. If that doesn't work for you, come back here and change this to enable Steam input, then fire up the game once again and see if things are fixed. Otherwise, you can leave this as default. Another solution we can try is clicking Steam in the very top left, then clicking Settings. Inside of here, head across to the Controller tab and then click General Controller Settings. Inside of the window that pops up, we can choose and customize support for each of these different controllers here simply by ticking them. And of course, you'll have your detected controllers down here, which you can calibrate and change preferences for. After customizing your controller there, fire up the game and see if things have fixed themselves. Otherwise, if they haven't, another thing we can try is going into big picture mode using the button in the top right here, then heading across to your library, locating Forza Horizon 5, then clicking Manage Game, Controller Configuration, OK, Controller Options, and you'll be changing the Steam Input per game setting, requires relaunch, to Force Off. Relaunch the game, see if things are fixed. Otherwise, try Forced On, relaunch the game, and see if things are fixed. If none of this is working for you, what else can we try? Well, if you're trying to play with a PlayStation controller and you're using something like DS4 Windows, it's a super simple solution. All you have to do is fire up Forza Horizon 5, then open the DS4 Windows settings window, then simply tick Hide DS4. Upon doing so, your controller may connect, and things will be great. Otherwise, wait a few seconds and then re-enable this option. And in a few more seconds, your controller should then be working. It's super simple. If you're using something like X360CE, something else you can try and do is reinstall that or check your configuration to see that things are working properly there, especially if you're using something other than a common Xbox controller, PlayStation controller, etc., etc. But anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.